Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, your channel, Fact Focus. Breaking news from Iran. The Iranian Short Film Association has been plunged into controversy after the ban of its upcoming film festival. Why? Because of a powerful poster featuring an iconic actor without a hijab. Today we delve into the story behind this cultural clash, the rising tide of dissent and the battle for individual freedom. Welcome to this special report. In recent events, Iranian authorities have taken a drastic step to ban the 13th edition of the ISEFA Film Festival, all due to a publicity poster featuring Susan Taslimi, a legendary actor, without a hijab. This decision has ignited a debate that goes beyond mere cinema and delves into deeper social and cultural issues. Let's go back in time to understand the roots of this contentious conflict. In 1983, Four years after the Islamic Revolution, a law was enacted, making it compulsory for women in Iran to wear a headscarf, known as hijab. The aim was to promote modesty and Islamic values, but over the years this law has faced resistance from Iranian women seeking to reclaim their personal freedom. Fast forward to last September, when mass protests erupted across the country, demanding an end to the compulsory hijab. The tragic incident of Masha Amini's death sparked this movement as she was arrested for allegedly breaching the dress code. The nation witnessed an unprecedented call for change and individual expression. Despite the risks, Iranian women have become increasingly defiant, flouting the strict dress code. They courageously express their views and choices, pushing the boundaries of societal norms. But this has led to confrontations with the morality police and legal consequences. Just earlier this month, the police intensified their efforts to arrest women who dare to challenge the law. Even prominent figures like actor Afsane Bayegan faced legal repercussions for not wearing the hijab at a public event. The judiciary's decision to impose a suspended prison sentence and mandate psychological treatment has sparked further outrage. This ban on the film festival is not just about a poster or a dress code. It represents a cultural clash between tradition and progress. On one side, proponents argue for preserving Islamic values and modesty, while on the other, advocates emphasise individual liberty and gender equality. The controversy has ignited discussions across the nation, with intellectuals, artists and activists voicing their opinions on various platforms. The clash between religious adherence and personal freedom has put the country at a crossroads. As the nation grapples with this complex issue, it is essential to have open dialogues and mutual respect for different viewpoints. Society must find a way to reconcile tradition and modernity, respecting individual choices while preserving cultural identity. In a diverse society like Iran, embracing differences can lead to unity, fostering creativity and empowering its citizens. The ban of the ISFA Film Festival has become a defining moment in Iran's social history. It sheds light on the struggle for personal liberties and challenges deeply rooted norms. As the world watches, Iranians are embracing change, redefining their identity and shaping their destiny. Only time will tell how this cultural evolution unfolds. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the ban that shook Iran. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed. Goodbye.